wild ones, a bit of weird ones today. I'm kind of on the way somewhere. I camp that I want to do tomorrow, but I haven't got enough daylight to set it up today. So this is kind of a stop off camp. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Most of the stuff in this rucksack and that random pole there, that's for tomorrow. So just ignore that. I'm just looking for somewhere a bit sheltered because, oh, the weather forecast is horrendous for today. So because I've got all this stuff in my rucksack for tomorrow, I've got a really light shelter tonight. I've got a DCF tarp and it's only 88 grams. Hey. That's uh, a bit nuts, really. Right. I keep ending up where I started, so I think it's a sign. I'm gonna stop here for the night. The wind's coming from behind, but I mean, kind of a ditch here, like a nice little divot. That's not a bad view behind, is it? It's been a cold week up here. It's mid-January, but it is warming up now. Yeah, I think this will be quite nice. Right, let's rustle something up. <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe let's make use of this rock. Hi friends. <laughs> I've made a start. <laughs> Is this gonna work? I don't know. Yeah, right. I've pegged this bottom corner in and I've attached that back corner to an old tree branch up there. So we're making use of this rock, which isn't gonna budge. And hopefully under here, I can make a nice little shelter. Hey, Frau, is it you and me tonight? Yeah. So cute. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but. Yeah. And then, trekking pole it there. It might be all right, you know. Let's get this uh, trekking pole pegged in. That's the bloody thing. Angled up dry line. Stay. Good top. Yeah, look, that's all right, isn't it? Oh yeah, good. Right. Get that pegged in. sheltered under here just like it's coming from every direction it'll have to do but I've had an unfortunate realization and that's that I've pitched right under this lovely holly bush and uh, there's spiky holly all over the ground which is gonna pierce my sleeping mat so I've got to make sure that that's all off the ground because I don't want that getting punctured. Yeah, let's clear the ground a little bit. Right, booby bag, big flat sleeping bag. Ugh. I've got my 3.5 by 3.5 multi-cam in here. This is for tomorrow night's camp, but because of the spiky situation, I'm going to put it down on the floor just in case I've missed any. It's like a little layer of protection. Yeah, because this is massive. Oh, what a chaotic little arrangement this is. The wind's getting up, look. There's Robin friend again. Hey. Oh, you're so poofy looking. Oh, you're so beautiful. Shall we hang out tonight? Shall we? It's all over, just you go. Like, sod that. Sod that for a laugh. I'll sit in my tree. Oh, that's actually really nice in here. 
The trick's gonna be as well, stop things going away. I might see if I could find some rocks to put down, like on this corner. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that now. Let's get some rocks. There's a nice rock. The sun's gone. Goodbye sunshine. Wish me luck. Rocks of course are great to use to anchor things down on the ground but never put them anywhere where they can get flung off and hit you in the head. Never do that. So even here, I wouldn't put a rock here in case that gets lifted and flings the rock, you know? Just keep them down low. This is starting to take a little bit of shape, I think. It feels a little bit less chaotic, sort of. So this is my Alp Kit Hunker Bivy Bag. It's one of my more waterproof Bivy Bags find this one to be really reliable. I think I've even slept in a puddle with the XL version, I've been fine. It's just a nice peace of mind, you know? Going for the Wednesday Adams look today. Right, I feel vaguely sorted now. The temperature is 4.3 degrees at the moment, but in that wind chill, of course, feels considerably colder. It feels about freezing at the moment. I've got, that's a home cooked beef casserole. And I think there's a dumpling in there as well. So I'm really excited about having that. And I think this little nook down here will be all right to cook in. So I'm gonna have that and get settled down and just make sure that everything's in the right place after dinner, ready for, uh, you know, in case things go wrong <laughs> with this tarp. It'll be interesting. I mean, I'm in the bivvy, I'll be fine. I'll survive. And I've picked somewhere, you know, in a little nook here that we should be out of the worst of it, hopefully. This tarp is a 2.5 by 1.35 meter tarp. So it's a smaller shelter, but if I weren't already carrying loads of stuff for tomorrow in my rucksack, this wouldn't be my shelter of choice for cold weather in January in the wind. But it's a good way to test it out, I suppose. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's doing fine so far. No issue at all. I don't really know what just happened. Oh, okay, it snapped. Right. That's a problem. What time is it? It's only half six. It feels like it should be midnight already. The uh, guy lines just snapped on this side. So the top's fine. What's happened up here? I'm not quite sure. Oh. oh yeah, <laughs> here we are. So it was tied up here and the guy lines just snapped off. Right, all fixed up. It's pretty low under here now, but that's okay. I think actually this will be more sheltered. So before it was coming up to here and the wind was coming in through there probably a good thing that that happened. Just hope it holds up now. So far so good. I'm gonna sleep with my waterproofs on tonight. I'm gonna put my waterproof trousers on just in case something goes wrong in the night and I need to get out and it's raining. It would just be a hell of a lot easier if I'm already waterproofed up, you know. Very cramped in here but I'm lovely and warm now. So much warmer since I put that back peg down. Just kind of stuck like this now. Till morning. Uh. I 
crazy hell. So this tarp is from Wild Sky Gear and it's the same place that I get my little DCF zip pouches and packing cells and I've got some DCF dry bags somewhere as well and I love them so much. It's all been amazing but this is my first ever DCF tarp that I've used at the shelter. Yeah, I will be really impressed if this goes through till the morning. It's doing well so far. It's hanging in there. Go little top. Woo. All right, guys, it is half nine. The top's doing amazingly. I'm feeling pretty dozy cozy, actually, so. I'm gonna watch a film for a bit and see if I can get some sleep. Hopefully by the morning everything will still be in its rightful place. I'll be nice and dry. We'll see. Night guys! my boots down there and one of them was sticking out of the edge down there and look absolutely full of water oh good job I've got waterproof socks Jesus that's a rookie mistake I've got a chocolate coffee and a pastry so I'm gonna have this and then get packed away. Just under six degrees at the moment, so it's not cold, which I'm quite glad about. Definitely feels warmer than last night. Yeah, this is uh, a bit nuts, really. A bit crazy. Not even being able to sit up. Oh, horrible. I'm not good with cramped spaces. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, oh my God. I'm free. Oh. Yeah. Look how well this tarp's done. Amazing. That's come out, but that's where I've been leaning on it with the little mat wrench. But yeah, the tarp was done perfectly. Really didn't think that was gonna go all night. Well pleased with that. Can't believe it. Right, let's get this away. Be honest and uh yeah 
I'm off now to film the one that I initially came out here to do involving my crazy pole uh, so if you want to have a little guess at what that's going to be I have tried it before and it's not gone very well so let's hope this one goes a bit better and I'll see you for that soon thanks for watching guys bye Oh. <sighs>